So this is our sixth video on this boy's life, and in this one we will analyze the distinction between success and thriving. So let's talk about another distinction. Obviously it relates to all the previous distinctions too, and that's between, you know, success, put in scare quotes, and thriving. And, you know, let's define success as uh, a winning a relative competition against other people for approval. And so, oh, I'm a success. I have won the approval of, of other people. And usually that means that they rank me relatively highly compared to other people, right? And so it's a massive issue for Jack because his problems with real thriving, as we've argued, the main reading of the book here is that, again, that that he can't thrive when he's young and he does the next best thing. He tries to fake his way into success. And unlike thriving, which can't be faked, success can be faked and maybe even is, is closely related to to an act. And because it involves having people view you as a success as opposed to actually thriving. And so, uh, you know, it, our boys, they've got this picture, many of them, right? You, you, if you have a certain ad address, you work for a certain firm, you know, you work at the Crescent, you're in, you know, private wealth management, or you, you, know, you work for JP Morgan and in investment banking down at the Crescent, and, you know, you live on Beverly Drive and blah, 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 blah. You know the deal, all the brands, right? Well, those are things people think of as successful. So if you have those things, right, you're a success. And, and that's a massive issue for, I would say, 100% of our boys. And, and, you know, some of our boys are fortunate enough to also have this idea of thriving, or at least a nascent sense of thriving, whether they use that word or not. And that's different. That's where you actually are doing these good acts that are self-rewarding and uh, self-enacting, right? Literally enacting of character, of the telos, of narrative, of personality too, but within its place. And are also building competence, relatedness, and autonomy in real ways. And so it's a, it's a really good uh, uh, distinction to introduce here uh, because, uh, you know, there, it's, it just permeates the book. And so, you know, Jack at various points says, like, how averse to work that he is, right? And he, he because he goes so far over into performance land, you know, work becomes this thing that he dreads. And, and it's all about fooling people into thinking that um, you are whatever way. Um, and it's about choosing and picking and, and, and performing. And, uh, and it's not about uh, uh, doing. And so, uh, and again, just one of the most interesting things about the book, I think, is when Jack just so brutally judges the Welches, you know, it's like these people are losers and I can't apologize to losers uh, that, that it shows the kind of fierce self judgment that Jack has, has, uh, has sort of digested from the culture around him. And again, it's one of the reasons he's got to lie to himself, right? Because if he actually doesn't lie to himself, then then he's going to, that, that negative judgment will strike home. And who knows what he would do, become an alcoholic or, or commit suicide or, or whatever would follow from something that, that horrible. And just to give you a sense of, of how nasty this whole uh, success as winning thing can be and, and the difference between success and thriving. You know, uh, Jack says when he's discussing, you know, his relation to his his friends, uh, when one of them gets in trouble. But in my heart, I was glad he was in trouble, and not just because it would take the heat off me, to have the chance to show him that I was a better friend than he had been. I would stand up for him. And another quotation: We did so in a resolutely innocent way, never admitting to ourselves what the real object was—that is, to bring somebody down. 
And so, the, again, this weird sense of, you know, he's not being a real friend. He's just pretending to be a friend in order to win, right? He doesn't actually want the well-being of his friend. He wants to be in a position to help his friend, not to help his friend, but to uh, uh, be the dramatic actor that uh, gets viewed as the person who's superior. And again, this longing for competence, this, this, uh, this desire to appear competent where there isn't any actual competence. Pretty nasty. So the takeaways for this video, what do we mean by success? What do we mean by thriving? Explain what is at stake and the difference between success and thriving. Are they mutually exclusive or might they be causally related to each other? Which of the two, if you had to choose, do you think is more important and why? Which of the two do you think most of the people pursue most of the time? Why?